welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, I just wanted to start this video off with explaining that I'm now affiliated with Pollock Box. Um, so I do have discount codes available for you all. Um, so your first order, you can use 10% discount code of Colette's Marine Tank 10. Um, this can be used at any time, um, but it can only be used once. So if you are looking at buying a few corals, um, maybe wait till you're ready to use that discount code so that you're not gonna miss out. Um, I'll pop it on the bottom of this video for you. Um, I am also editing this video to make sure that this is at the start once I've actually trialed and tested Pollock Box myself. Um, and obviously if I am happy to recommend them, I will then add this into it. Um, so if you're watching this part, then you know that I've trialed and tested it and I'm happy with the products. Um, I will not affiliate myself with a company that I don't feel comfortable with recommending to all my following and um, so I just want to put that out there because in the past I've opened I've done unboxing videos where I've not actually tested um, or trialed the products myself before um, and I've opened them and they've maybe not been as good as I uh, anticipated um, and to some people that might seem like I've advertised them it's not that I've advertised them it's just purely that I am unboxing them with you and um, so I just want everyone to know that it's not like I'm recommending a product um, at that point now this one I am recommending and that's the only reason I'm using this part to the video at the beginning because I want you to know that it's a great video to see so and they're also a great company to use so um, yeah here you are guys, enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, today's video, we have another unboxing video. Um, I'm just gonna take my label off of this. It's a lot easier than I expected. Um, we have some corals that we've ordered um, from Pollock Box. Um, as explained just a few moments ago, I do have a discount code for you all, should you like what you see. And um, there is plenty to look at on their website. I've been stalking their website for probably about six months now, constantly getting updates and, and seeing um, what they have up on there and wanting to buy. Um, but obviously the last six months for me have been more about touring around the UK and wanting to see different shops and buying from those shops. Um, so today I have, or, well, a few days ago I ordered quite, a few, well, three things I think there was on the uh, list. I'll show you those afterwards, um, what I actually ordered. Um, and then, yeah, well, let's get started in unboxing. I've got Esme here with me today. She wanted to help with the unboxing, did not you, Esme? Yeah. She just loves the camera. Um, quite like a mummy in that, in that respect, aren't you, Esme? Yes. You want to be a show? Can I please put, put that thing up? You want to show people what we've got? Yeah. Yeah, go on then. You okay. have to bring it down. You have to bring it down, right. So mm -hmm. inside this is another another box, a poly box. <laughs> so we'll get this out. Um, you want to help me? Um, yes. Okay. You want to pull the cardboard box out? There we go, there we go. Can you bring the cardboard box down? Yeah, yeah. good girl, good girl. Yeah. Timmy, see you. Come on. You can't just give up. Oh, oh. I've done it. Oh. Let's put this away. Right, go on then. Right, and then let's open this one, hey? Yeah. And then I'll show them what there is really. Then you're going to show them what there is inside? Yeah. Yeah. Just put it on the floor and I can bend down and get it. Right. So I can reach it now. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really helpless. <gasps> oh, nearly, nearly. Okay. Can we get around this side? Oh yeah, you forgot that one. Did I? Yeah. Silly mummy. You thought. Right, so we are guys. Right. Okay, so we've got some paperwork here. So it tells me what I've got inside. So I've got yellow sun drop zoanthids, two okay, to three Okay, just goes away. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, next, I've got a pink millipora, and I also got an ultra toxic green torch. 
Plus there is a free sewer inside, so thank you very so, much for that. Thanks so, for your order, Pollock Box. Something's in here. And they also have their um, dead on arrival policy as well on the back of there, so that's really handy as well. Um, obviously for me it's really good to video because um, anything that goes wrong on the video or you can see what I'm doing from the process of opening right. the box right through to dipping the corals um, is all recorded so um, I guess we'll wait and see. This was posted out yesterday and it's just arrived and we are on, let me just check the time for you all. Yeah, okay, so we're on, we half, we're on half two um, in the afternoon. Um, so we will have to wait and see how these all come. Let me get one out, Esme, one okay. second. Right, so I just want to show you all. So the heat pack has just been brought out by Esme. Um, I wouldn't say the heat pack's warm still, but everything looks all intact. I'll obviously open it out properly right. in a second. Put it on the floor so I can Right, you want me to let you hold one of them? Yeah. I'll let you pull out the most hardiest one, which is... Probably the really poorer. Is that what that is? Oh, I can see polyps. Right now we're gonna we're gonna turn it over, Esme, and show everyone what the millipora. Looks like. So it's a branch in millipora. Um, I can actually still see polyps out, which is great. Um, obviously the colour isn't there at the moment because it's just been travelled. Travelled. Um, so what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take my lid off my tank. Put that to one side and I'm just going to bring the bags up to temperature for a, for a little bit. Okay, now let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is the Ultra um, Toxic Green Torch. Um, so this one had a nice centre. It was a bit of a darker green torch from what I've got. Um, so I just thought it would be a nice contrast of colour in my torch garden. The centre was bright, bright green. There we go. And then, what are these? So here we have the zoas. So we've got two different frags here. Um, obviously the ones that I ordered I've already told you about. I'm not sure what the free one is. Um, so we'll have a little look when it's all opened up and inside the tank. And maybe you guys can help me because I'm not the zoa expert. So. And what's in here? Yeah, I might need a little bit of help determining what's what. That is the heat pack Esme. For what? For the corals to keep them warm. So I'm going to turn off my flow because as you can see these bags are just going round and round in circles at the moment. Um, I'm going to leave them for half an hour to get up to temperature because it's been quite cold outside. And um, Once they're up to temperature I'm then going to start the dipping process. Um, today's dip I'm going to use Coral RX. Um, yeah. I tend to change way, between it? dips yeah. um, depending on okay. what I'm okay. getting. Yeah. So I'm going to try Coral RX for today's dip and also another thing that I just want to say on this video, I have been using the um, NT Labs Marine anti -Aptasia. Um To be honest, I have actually seen a slight difference. Um, I'm not rushing anything. I don't think that the Aptasia is going to go overnight because they're massive. But I've noticed a few of the smaller ones have gone down since I've been using it. So. Maybe that combined with the peppermint shrimp and the filefish potentially is what's helping. Um, my egg hands have still not recovered yet. Um, I think they're gonna take a long time to recover. Um, and I've still got the filefish in there that needs to come out when I do my move. Only one and a half weeks and I'm moving the tank. So I thought I'm not gonna rip a tank apart just to get this filefish out now. It's a slow thing, a slow process when it comes to a filefish anyway, at destroying them. So. As long as it doesn't touch the torches, it's all staying together as one until that week and a half is up and I'm moving out, I can then get the filefish out at that point. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave the video here for the time being. I'll come back to you as soon as we have got the corals inside the pot acclimating and coral dipping. Thank you. But yeah, you can see the colours coming out already. The pink millipora looks stunning. And... Um, a torch coral you can see from this side a little bit better. Nice colours on it. And then the two Zoa frags, they're going to take a little while. Zoas always take a little while after delivery to um, come out of their shell. So, um, yeah. See what they open up like. 
there you go okay so you can see the pink millipora i'm just going to try and point in the court in the center here and um, so it looks gorgeous um from the front and you can see the very bottom of that uh, millipora is actually green which is stunning um i've put the two zoas like i said here down here i'm just waiting for them to come out and the torch is over here and um, like i said again just waiting to come out and um, so i'm excited to see all of these out and ready i'm just going to see if i can show you what that millipora looks like from this side so yeah you can see those green green centers amazing um from the side as well i'll try and get some underwater and um, pictures of it in uh, say a week or so when it's um, settled fully but yeah really really excited okay guys so it's been roughly two hours since i've popped all of the corals inside the tank um and they're looking good so far um so this is the torch um coral that i ordered which i'm absolutely in love with to be honest it goes perfect with the rest of the garden um so i wanted a different green um that from what i've already got so in the center here you can see i've got the highlighter tip green um torch there and then the ultra toxic green there um so this one is totally totally different it's more like a mint green um and when it's fully out yeah it's it's gonna look really nice contrast with the rest of the torches um the next one let's go down to the zoas here as we know king george just needs to get in the camera <laughs> um so the yellow ones which are these ones here um haven't currently opened as of yet um but hopefully over time they will and then the ones that we got free are these ones here I am looking at them and looking at some other ones that I have in the tank and think they could potentially be candy crushes. Um, you guys will know better than me because I am awful with Zoa names. Um, but yeah, if they are candy crushes, they've maybe just not coloured up yet because of the journey. Um, the candy crushes that I've got, if I can try and show you, if it will focus, are just down here. I'll try and point here. Um, so they're quite similar in terms of the d pattern and design on them um, but like I said the colour's not quite there they're probably a completely different zone and I'm just saying they want, they're something they're not but yeah so if you guys know let me know please um, and I'll try and show again a little bit after sorry I'm trying to zoom in and out there to get you focused um, and then, last but not least, we have the beautiful, stunning Millipora at the back there. Sorry, the Amphi is just in the way. Here we go. Right, so it's not focusing very well, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, also, like I said before, the green on the bottom, the base, oh, amazing. Can't wait to see this one completely coloured up um, and out and, and grow in. I just think it will grow really nice outwards in this tank so yeah so pallet box thank you very much for um sending me all my little bits there and yeah if you guys want to get in on the action 10 percent off your first order you can only use it once and it's collects marine tank 10 i'll pop that at the bottom of this video for you thank you for all for watching and take care guys Bye.